Hello everybody, welcome back to the Daily Kerbal. Today, as I promised last time, we are going to be flying in the atmosphere, not in space this time. So, to that end, I have built us a plane. It is not a space plane, for it cannot go to space. But it can fly in the atmosphere. Technically. Barely. I hope. I wouldn't know because I haven't tried it yet. But, um, aerodynamics are, I believe, one of the things, one of the many things that have been changed since I played the game, so I hope this little thing can work. It's a small one-man airplane, and it's designed to complete those contracts that we picked up last time. We're going to need a temperature reading, so it's got a little uh, thermometer up there, and it's going to need, well, just to get a crew somewhere. I chose the ones that are below 18,000, uh, you know, below a specific meter, because we're going to be flying roughly around, like, the 5,000, 8,000 meter uh, domain, more or less, if this thing will take off at all, that is, and, I mean, I don't know, I'm skeptical, because I, I prefer the space flight part of this game, honestly, I'm not very into the aviation side of it, but, you know, it's whatever you gotta do to get the bills paid, right, so, let's do it. Jeb? Yep, Jeb's ready to go. Okay, I took the liberty of upgrading our uh, runway just because uh, otherwise it would be a long dirt runway and that sucks. Prefer to be taking off uh, even ground, more or less. I mean, you can see there are potholes definitely in this thing, but anyway, let's hope this works. SAS on, engines, active. And let's go, throttle up. Very slowly gaining speed. Hope you don't mind, by the way, that I uh, designed the airplane off camera this time, just because flying, if I recall correctly, does take a while, and I decided that this is where I'm going to try and cut off, uh, cut off on this episode. I'm going to wait till we get up to like 80,000 meters per second, maybe, before I start trying to pull up. There we go. Okay, pull up. Come on. No, we're wobbling. Don't wobble, please. Don't wobble. Okay, new plan. I'm just going to try and run us off of the runway. Let's see if we can't glide from the... Oh, 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 we're doing it. We're flying. <gasps> okay, good. We're in the air. Now that we're in the air, I'm going to go into our map and activate our navigation to take us here. Okay, so let's go there. report here matter? It does. Flying over Kerbin's water. Transmitted. What about the temperature reading? That does too. Well, I'm not going to keep it because there's no way of collecting it, and I need the temperature reading from the place where we're going to, so that's where it's going to be. Throttle up all the way. Speed up. Sure, we're always going upwards. Nope, we're there. Okay, uh, take the temperature reading. Take it. All right, we'll keep that one. Now we're gonna go to Human's Gambit, Aoman's Gambit. So let's pull over, turn around. It's going a lot more smoother than I expected. That zone was unbelievably large, considering that its center was somewhere right around that uh, that island over there. Okay. Come on. I really do need to get a hang of this aviation thing because later on we're we're going to be performing one stage to orbit flights. You know, if that ever does occur, and. Mastery of this part of the game is going to become crucial. I'm hesitant to...
just speed us up. I could do it, but the thing is that, if I remember correctly, if I try to speed up the plane, then uh, it starts to wobble uncontrollably. Honestly, I'd rather not do that, so let's just kind of let it, kind of let it glide. We're not going that far away, so we're there. The, state, the indicator is going to start blinking when we get there. gathering the temperature measurements has been indispensable. Thank you. You're welcome. Already made back the price of the, the airplane with that contract. That's good. Right. And then we're going to circle around and see if I can't land this thing. Pretty much every pilot will tell you, flying's easy, it's landing, it's hard. Takeoff and landing is where the majority of airplane accidents occur, and I did not design this uh, airplane with a countermeasure to, you know, there are no ejector seats on this. There we go, Ewan's Gambit, take the crew report. There we go, keep that. So you can go ahead and transmit it. Right. It was over the grasslands. I don't think we're going to be doing anything else. Now I'm going to head out straight a little bit so I can get a good approach to the landing pad, to the runway. And I'm going to attempt to perform a landing. I imagine this is one of those things everybody thinks they're good at, and I am no exception. Actually, that's, that's not true at all. I know very well that I am terrible at this. I'm trying to control this plane in a manner that makes sense to me. Based on movies that I have seen. Planes never just, you know, turn like a car does. They kind of tilt. So that's what I'm trying to do. And because I have traveled on planes before, I am going to attempt to land the same way those planes land. line us up with the runway as straight as possible. steps to kill our speed. Let's do it again. We don't have air brakes unlocked yet. We were going at uh, 80 meters per second to 100 meters per second while we were on the runway, so that's what I want to slow down to. Pull up. Kill our engines almost. Um, pull up. There we go. Killing our speed well. We're not coming in fast enough. Is what I mean to say. There we go. Okay. Down. And now we're not headed anywhere near the runway. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Come on. Okay, our speed is pretty good. If I can get it to go any slower, that'd be great.
Well, you know what they say, any landing you can walk away from, that's a good one. Huh, well, okay, that was short. <laughs> we did get the contracts complete. I'm going to obviously have to work on that landing. We're going to be doing more aviation in the future, I imagine. Completing contracts and the like. Uh, we're going to someday have to invest in getting better parts. Now I think is the time that we start going for... State Putnik. We're gonna have to go for the uh, uh, the advanced, well, the basic science. Can't do it yet though because we don't have enough science for that. Don't have enough science for anything. All right. Thirty nine seemed like a large number to me until I realized that it wasn't. So before we leave, before I end this episode, it was admittedly a shorter one. I might try a second flight, you know, just to just to see if I can't get that landing right the second time. Let's look for some contracts that we can complete. Mm -hmm. Carrying uh, tourists at this point is fairly easy. Especially since all they want to do is suborbital spaceflight. They can do that easily. In fact, I think we should do that. Yeah. I'll take two of these. Both of these want a suborbital space flight. And then the next uh, next episode, when we play the game tomorrow, I will design a spacecraft designed for carrying two tourists to a suborbital space flight. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, feel free to voice your likes or dislikes of the video in whatever fashion YouTube's toolset allows you to. Subscribe if you want to see me uh, play more Kerbal Space Program in the future, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.